Hi guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Um, been asked a good question. What do you mean by blow by the injector? Because you know, normally when we talk blow by, you're talking about you know the rip blowing past the ring sort of thing. So same word, different meaning. So look, blow by the injector. So instead of the blow by at the rings, we're talking about the blow by at this injector seat here. Like we've got an, an old injector. Don't worry, it's not a new injector. We're going to play with new injectors. Um, there it is, it is an old one, but it's just there for demonstration purposes. So basically what you've got is, you can see the injector. You've got this seat here, that's the, um, that's the injector seat there. So that's the area in the head where it gets pressed into the head, but it's actually clamped up at this top area here. The clamp actually sits on top of the injector there. All right, to explain a couple of things, that presses this way pressure on that seat so that it seals okay so we'll talk about why the seats leak another time that this one's to answer what is blow by so when that seat there leaks when that leaks that's blow by so what happens then the next step all the heat and compression blows up the injector up this way and eventually gets to this o-ring here and you can see at the moment all soft. See the O-ring? There you go. Get the thing happening right. You can put the, uh, you know, the O-ring is nice and soft. Awesome. That seals. Just above it, in this area here, from there to there, is an oil gallery, obviously, to cool the injector. So there's oil flowing through there, and the O-ring here is to stop the oil coming down. But what happens after you have blow by this seat down here? All that heat coming up here, it cooks and carbon. It, it, this rubber turns to plastic, okay? It just goes hard, whether it's from the heat or reaction, whatever you wanna, you know, I'm not a O-ring specialist, but it goes rock hard like plastic, it cracks. The oil comes down, 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 down to here. And that's why you get a puff of smoke when the car's been parked overnight. Take it for a long drive, oil gets nice and hot and thin. You park the car, the oil's nice and thin, it leaks down past this seat overnight, drip, drip, drip on the piston, you start up in the morning, pfft, puff of oil smoke all right that's what's happening there the next stage of that is obviously all the oil that's in this area it's then getting baked by carbonized by all the heat from the compression and it all goes into like carbonized little bits and pieces it then floats up the body in the injector past the o-ring that's not working back to the oil gallery so it floats around in the oil gallery in the oil system gets back to the sump and it's sitting in the bottom of your sump and when the engine's trying to pick up oil the oil pick up um, it picks up those bits of carbon and that's how it becomes blocked and oil starvation happens. So that's going to wreck your engine. The first thing that goes usually is the bottom end when we're talking about the engine. Um, also the turbo. The turbo needs lubrication. That's probably one of the first thing that's going to get damaged. Then the bottom end and you don't get a lot of warning. First thing you know you'll be at the side of the road and the oil light will come on when it's too late. Now show you some more pictures so you understand a bit about what's going on here. Might just reposition that light it seems to be a little bit bright so th this is your blocked oil pickup so that's what it looks like can your oil engine pick up oil through that and lubricate the engine no so what does blow by look like well there's some injectors with blow by see the two middle ones look closer to what they should look like the left one you can see that's the seat leaking and the o-rings maybe just started leaking but not quite the one on the right, um, a bit hard to tell actually, so forget it. This one below, closer look of, um, it's not that injector, but it's another one, because there was no shortage of these ones leaking. Um, you can see that's pretty massive blow by, it hasn't taken out the O-ring yet. That was stuck in. When you have that problem, this sort of area here is unbelievably stuck into the head. It's a lot of fun to get out, I assure you. So that's those um, seats that cause that problem there. Um, another set of injectors. So out of four injectors, there you go. So there you have it. You can see that's been leaking. That's the part that was stuck. It's early days, the O-ring's been taken out. They're all starting to come down. So we got to that one early. Here's another set of injectors. These two is what it should look like. These two blow by, right? So that one could have a blocked oil pickup. So after you cleaned up all this mess, put new injectors in the right seats and got the job done right, you'd then need to go and check your oil pickup. 
Okay, more of the same. Those ones look okay. Blow by on the back one. More of the same. Okay, not okay. Okay, not okay. You get the picture? Um, these are those brass washers you may have heard about. In my opinion, the brass washers, you know, they're very hard. We saw a lot of them leak early days, but that's not what this is about. This is just about blow-by. And if you want to avoid it, then use genuine parts because the materials they use are copper, as specified by Toyota Motor Corporation, 99.9% .9 CU, that's copper. Okay, so down here, blow-by, clean how it should be, blow-by, clean. And over here, obviously, a closer look again at another one that had that stuck-in situation, right? So, no shortage. This is just a few that I was able to lay out on the bench to show you what we mean by blow-by at the injector. I reckon that's probably the best explanation you've had on Facebook for years. So, my video is not professional. I just make it up as I go. That's the best I can do for you. That's all I do. If you want to see more, follow my YouTube um, channel, 4 Before Diesel. A few groups, Oz Prado crew, got the 4 Before Diesel information page, and also the um, inject Toyota Injectors Only, 1KD Injectors Only group on Facebook. So there's a few groups. It's all mainly about information to show you guys the problems that you can have. These engines are awesome, the vehicles are awesome, but you really need to um, understand the problems they can have, and if the wrong people work on them, the wrong parts, if injectors get left in there too long, these are the sort of problems you can have and you could end up with um, big problems mate, you know, time for a new engine. Now that's a nice long one for you, seven minutes, we'll see how that long that takes to upload. Catch you soon, see ya.